Hey, good morning, friends. Mark Holmes here. Well, Joe Boo's down in the man cave, probably sleep right now. Of course, here's Simba. He's up with me. But as always, thank you guys for watching, commenting, and subscribing to the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, you know I can't make it without you guys. Woo! Well, it's about 6.30 in the morning. We've been cooking for about, oh, I don't know, 13, 14 hours on our pork shoulders. I got up a couple times to make sure I got plenty of wood chips and stuff on here. I know you purists out there can't stand to have a, a barbecue with a glass door, propane, something wrong with you, boy. Well, that may be true. There probably is something wrong with me, but let's take a look at what we got going right here. It's going to be a long day. We need a spritz real quick. Lincoln, Coleman, hope you guys brought your appetite. I know we got like 100 people coming up from North Carolina, and I know y'all know about barbecue, okay? Just be cool. Just understand this is Joe Boo Sports Barbecue. I got to tell you, there's nothing better than waking up in the morning, and at my age, there's nothing better than waking up in the morning and getting my first cup of coffee and sitting down and doing my videos. But the fact that tomorrow the Dallas Cowboys will be here playing the Washington Redskins and we're going to be there with a whole lot of our friends. To me, it just doesn't get any better than that. I mean, it does not get better than that. I got a whole lot of work to do between now and then, but... Yeah, I got a hell of a lot of work to do between now and then. But, um, it's going to be worth it. It definitely will be worth it. <coughs> Our Cowboys, you know, here's the thing that worries me. Is the NFL is literally a week-to-week -week league. Excuse me, I need some coffee. It's literally a week to week league. One week you can look like world killers, uh, world beaters. The next week you can look like hot garbage. And the Redskins, I gotta tell you, I know they lost to the Eagles, but they were putting on a show. The Eagles have a, excuse me, the Redskins have a way of sometimes folding towards the end or not being able to keep a lead. But they were going toe to toe. In fact, they were slaughtering the Eagles there when you look at the game from the first half standpoint and even going to the third quarter. They just couldn't hold on to it. They didn't have enough horses for the race. But here's the thing about the NFL. Sometimes you get punched in the mouth. And when you get punched in the mouth, you get disoriented. And before you know it, you got your ass kicked because you were punched in the mouth. And then all of a sudden, the team just goes on a roll and you just pack it in for another Sunday. Well, friends, right now we're dealing with a wounded animal. And I especially say we're dealing with a wounded Adrian Peterson. AP, who has never been a healthy scratch in his life, was sat down by the Redskins for whatever reason. I don't know if it's karma, but Geis is now on injured reserve. That guy is coming back with an attitude. He came back last season when basically everybody said, he's done, man, stick a fork in him. But he ended up being over 1,000 yards last year and one of the top backs in the NFL. Don't be surprised if they run him early and often and try and make some noise with him. Because the thing with AP is, AP will have a great game and then he'll follow it up with not so much of a game because he is older. And since he has not played all season, 
he is due to have a great game. So be careful. Case Keenum, another one of those guys who, you know, everybody has said can't do crap, right? You know, everybody joked, <laughs> the Redskins are starting Case Keenum. Well, he threw him for more yards than Carson Wentz did last week. Case Keenum with nobodies for wide receivers. And I mean nobodies. Now, the Redskins are banged up. Jordan Reed has another concussion from practice um, and won't play, which he's been the Dallas Cowboy killer. The Redskins se uh, secondary is beat up. But again, now you're talking about a team that's got desperation because you don't want to go 0-2 to start the season. For them, they're playing at home. Although there'll be a lot of Cowboy fans there, they don't want to go 0-2. And, and of course, this is Dallas Cowboys versus the Washington Redskins. And you can throw out the records and everything you know about the teams. We had a Dallas Cowboy team that was 1-15, and the only victory was against the Washington Redskins. So don't sleep on it. I know we've won the last, well, won four out of, excuse me, five out of the last six. We've been pretty good. I think we've won seven of the last nine. And the last time the Redskins actually swept us was uh, 2012, RG3's rookie year. Forget about that. Don't think this is a gimme. I got people that are out here saying, we're going to be 3 and out after the first three weeks. You're looking too far ahead. I'm telling you. I can't look too past these uh, poor shoulders right here. Because if I do, these suckers will overcook and turn to rubber. Take it one step at a time. I'm telling you. If you don't, you have a burnt meal. It's going to be a long day. But it's going to be a worthwhile one. I got to cook chicken. Got to make chili. Got a portion of hamburger. Got to portion out the chicken wings. Yeah. It's going to be a busy day. Hope you guys follow along for the ride. Be sure to subscribe to the channel because, well, I need your support. And uh, tomorrow morning, we're going to be leaving early for FedEx Field. And we're going to be eating, if nothing else. Mm. I'll see you guys a little later.